Hi, I'm Rand Lindsley, co-creator of Trail Designs and the Caldera Cooking Systems. This is the Thai Tri Classic that we're going to be talking about today. This is the most stable, wind-resistant, efficient three-fuel system you can buy. Three-fuel system in this case meaning alcohol, solid fuel like esbit, and wood burning. Your classic Thai Tri comes in its own caddy, as you see here. Let's take a look and see what we got inside. You unscrew the caddy top. The first thing you see is the 1210 alcohol stove. It comes with a set of titanium stakes that are used for both wood burning, well, used almost exclusively for wood burning. The fuel bottle kit for denatured alcohol that has the reducer, measuring cup, O ring sealed cap, five and a half ounce fuel bottle, and a set of instructions. We have another set of instructions for your 1210 stove, set of instructions for your Caldera Thai Tri, the Graham Cracker solid fuel kit, which consists of not only its set of instructions, but it's in a Ziploc bag that you can reuse and store all your goodies on the trail. Comes with the titanium Graham Cracker, two titanium wings, drip plate, and three fuel tablets. And finally, the titanium classic tie tri cone. Comes with, comes uh, packed with a rubber band. Just peel that off. In order to set this up, what you need, what you need to understand is that there are two dovetail joints. One is smaller than the other. The larger dovetail joint will have a reinforced, a reinforcement piece on there. It's either riveted or welded in place. And the bottom one will have a slight angle cut into it. This angle that's cut into it is not only identifies it as the smaller of the two dovetail joints, but also provides an entry point into the larger dovetail joint. Slide that in there, twist it, and then slide the two together. Goes in real easy. Another thing I'd like to mention about the dovetail joint is that they're, as you notice, they slide together like that. So if you ever do ding them, it gets really hard to slide them together again. So if these get bent in any way, that's really not good. Being that this is titanium, I don't recommend doing this for the aluminum cone you can snap it together. I don't even want to snap this one together, but if you find yourself in the field and it's an emergency and you have to get your cone together, and for some reason or another, you can't get it to come together and slide, you can just put the larger one on top of the smaller one and snap it on. Again, do not recommend it. Definitely don't do it for the aluminum, but the titanium is a much tougher material and will survive under that. If you ever find yourself also with a really, you get out in the dirt and it gets grungy or whatever, do try and clean it off and keep your dovetail joint clean. But if you ever want to uh, lubricate it up, we recommend a graphite lubricant like uh, Tuba Lube. Put a little on the sliding joints and that'll, that'll grease it right up and it moves together really well after that. So now that we've got everything unpacked and you've got your cold, your tie tri set up, you take your pot that's custom fit for the tie tri, you slide her right in the top. You'll notice it slides all the way down and catches on the top lip. This holds the pot perfectly in place, makes it for an extremely solid platform, extremely stable. You can't knock this thing over. You can't knock this thing over unlike almost every other backpack and stove out there. You're just not going anywhere. Um, so, the other beautiful thing about this cone coming all the way to the very top lip is that not only will the heat be totally contained inside, it actually wraps up around and starts cooking from the sides of the pot as well as the bottom. Finally, it keeps all the wind off of the pot as well as off of your stove. Let me show you how the, the tie tri works with the first two of the fuels, alcohol and esbit. Start with the alcohol first. 
Get some denatured alcohol. Fill your bottle as you'll see in other videos we have. And put about a half an ounce of fuel inside the 1210 stove. Depending upon altitude, you might use a little bit less, but usually you're gonna use slightly more because the water will be extremely cold or they'll be really windy or some other factor that'll consume a little bit more alcohol. But you need probably at least a half an ounce of fuel or about a tablespoon. I like to use an extended lighter to light this off. And there it goes. You can sense the heat by holding your hand up above it. Then you put your pot on it, trying to keep the stove in the center of the pot. That way the heat, the heat isn't gonna go up the sides and out. It'll actually hit the center, come around the sides of the pot and, and contain it like that. Now let me show you about the graham cracker. The titanium graham cracker stand comes with the titanium graham cracker stand is three grams and includes these retainers on each side or clips that will actually clip the titanium wings into place. These wings are put in place so that they can control the esbit burn. Typically they run in this orientation horizontally and you put your esbit in between and then put it on the aluminum plate for leave no trace reasons and also to help uh, prevent fires. So with solid fuel, um, they really don't light as quickly or as easily as most fuels or like paper or alcohol or what have you. So I really recommend using a windproof lighter, something that really puts out a good solid strong flame and then just cook one edge of it. You see with a lighter like that, it goes, it lights pretty quickly and easily. Probably ought to get it out of the wind a little bit. There it is. So after it's lit, put your pot with water and cone right over the top, trying to keep the graham cracker and esbit tablet centered in the middle so that it hits the bottom of the pot once again and cooks on all sides. Again, if you get it too far over the side, it'll just vent out the edges. There are two different types of floors that are optionally available with the Caldera, the classic tie try. The first, that if you're just planning on using the tie try without the Inferno, you can optionally order the two-piece floor. Two-piece floor is used for protecting the, the ground for leave no trace reasons. It has holes in each corner that line up so you can stake it down, and it covers the entire bottom of the standard tie try like that. If on the other hand, you have the Inferno, we optionally offer the one piece floor where because the Inferno comes down to a smaller point, the one piece floor will protect the ground from the wood fire and keep that off of the, the uh, forest floor, again, for no, leave no trace purposes. Now that you're done with your meal and you've cleaned everything up, let me show you how to pack everything back up. Everything's gonna go back into the caddy. And I'm gonna demonstrate both the Inferno and the tie try together as if you had them both, as most people do. First thing you wanna do is take your graham cracker, stick it inside the long end of the caddy. Next, take your tie try, Undo the dovetail joint. Roll it up. Stick her down inside. And also then take your Inferno stand, 
Roll that up into a fairly small package. Drop that into the bottom of your cone. Now that your Inferno grate stand is in the bottom, next thing you want to do is detach your Inferno, roll it up, put that inside the tie try. And then if you do pack your fuel bottle inside your cone, again, we don't advise it. Um, we recommend you use a Ziploc bag, mainly because there's air inside, and as you hike up and down and the barometric pressure changes, that can effectively pump fuel out past the lid. So if you do decide to put it inside, again, please pack it elsewhere, make sure your dovetail joints are up against the side wall of the cone and not angling in, because if they angle in, you can push your fuel bottle in on top of it and crush them. Fuel bottle goes in there if you so choose. Next, the titanium stakes go in the side between the caddy and the cone. Stove on top. Everything's all packed up and ready to go except for your grate. This you'll need to find some safe way to protect and store in your pack. It doesn't fit inside the caddy. Thanks for joining us. Please check in to traildesigns.com and look at all the other cool backpack and ultralight gear we have. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.